up for Odd Checker, we are bringing you another episode of Sharp Edge today. We are nearing football season, guys. How are you feeling? I need awesome. in the dream. It's it's time for football. We're, I'm I'm over baseball at this point. It was a good year, but it, it's time for football. I just wrote a football article for Saturday's game. How are we feeling about I'm it? Really oh, man, I'm gonna write another one right after this. I might I might write awesome. today. Just get the blood flowing. Yeah. I mean, you think about it, you can. Like you can start like on a normal football week on yeah. Wednesday, What's you can that? start banging out weekend picks. There's nothing wrong with that. No, yeah, that's so pretty- that's what that's the way it kind of hit me today. I was like, dude, I should just start throwing out some. Packs. I'm allowed to do this. I'm gonna bet every game Saturday. There's seven D1 games that I can't. Well, that I have lines right now, and I'm betting all seven of them. All right, mm-hmm. I can't wait to see what we're that's, betting uh, it's and what be we're tailing. So fun. It's going to be awesome. With that in mind, for our fans here at Odd Checker, we are actually doing a fun football giveaway. We are giving away a $500 bet on your choice of NFL team. And all you have to do to enter this contest is to like this video, comment on it with your Super Bowl winner, and subscribe. And we're going to just pick one fan, give away the $500 bet, and we'll see if you guys win at the end of the year. So this seems so easy. Yeah. yeah, just put the Giants. Mm-hmm. No, I'm saying to actually like get the get the prize. I mean, a little just bit like, of both. Subscribe, comment. That's it's easy. Um, with that mm-hmm. being said, we're gonna tell you guys the winner on September 5th in a live YouTube show. So make wow. sure you guys are tuned. Ooh, in. Ooh, live! A yeah, live a- YouTube. They're letting us go live. I don't know they why they're doing that. Enough. That feels like a bad <laughs> idea. But, well. Mm-hmm. That's fine. So yeah, guys, just comment below your Super Bowl winner, and we will we'll pick one on September fifth. Now let's get into something um everyone wants to talk about baseball. We've got Woo! a full slate of games tonight, and we're gonna kick things off with Slop's prop. He is looking at the Arizona Diamondbacks who are taking on the Kansas City Royal. Diamondbacks were victorious yesterday in a seventy three seven to three victory. And we got Zach Galen on the mound for them. And then for the Royals, we have Brady, Brady. Singer. Slop. Who do I got? Who do you have? I, oh, is- I got – I think I got Gallon. I'm pretty sure. You sure do. Yep. For one, that's a pretty good price at BetMGM, minus 110. Because at uh, FanDuel and DraftKings, he's like minus 130 or more, which, I mean, I would never take anything minus 130 or higher. So I should but- a minus pick today. Yeah, I, well, I had to because, all right, so what happened was they took, all right, because we're doing this show late, so they took the uh, one o'clocks away from me. Because uh, Kyle Wright like- right now is probably fan and pirates, like, you know what I'm saying, never seen before. And uh, Logan Webb starts pretty soon, too. So he's probably going to have like 10 plus. So, but that's out because we never get the show out in time. But, but, <laughs> but. That's not my fault. <laughs> but, no, that's that was my fault. That's my bad. <laughs> but, but, oh, my kid's fault. But anyway, anyway, it's, it's yeah, totally her fault. Totally her fault. She's ten. It happens. But so that leaves Zach Gallen, and he's the last guy from the strikeout list that has a shot. He's got the Royals, so they're kind of striking out a lot. I mean, they've they've slowed it down a little bit lately. But uh, there's six guys in the lineup that are all 25 percent plus. And then now you combine that with the fact that Gallen has been kind of like borderline on fire, striking people out. His last three games, he's gone over five and a half in all of them. But not just over, we're talking eight and then 12 in his last start. And then he even got six in Colorado, which is kind of crazy because, like, that's no one strikes on – like, so that's big. That's and, then the, uh, and then the two starts before that, though, he had five in each. One was Cleveland. That's That doesn't even count. That's like 15 Royals. And then five against the Giants, which, you know, that – I mean, that's questionable. But before that, he had seven Nationals, which is like 25 Royals. So, I don't know. I, I think this guy, I think he's going to light it up tonight. I think five and a half is, like, ridiculously low. And if you want, like, if you're at FanDuel, you can go six plus, seven plus, like, do the whole thing. And it's a late it game, so you can kind of, like, pretend like it's Friday. I don't know about you guys, but I think summer's pretty much over everywhere. But if it's not, then, you know, you get a little Wednesday night action in. No one's going to say anything. Yeah. Like, treat it like a Friday. You know what I mean? Like, like give it, give baseball a nice send-off. That's you know? true. I like that. You know what I mean? Like, make it feel like the World Series and stuff. Because I'll be oh, honest so. with you, it's, you're not going to care about baseball starting next week. Like, next week we got Thursday college yeah. games. Yeah. Like, so, baseball is pretty much over once, I'd say, the weekend hits. Baseball ends Friday. Weekend. Yeah. Yep. It'll 
you'll yep, have like a Saturday morning, you're gonna wake up. It's like, are they playing then, baseball anymore? Like, wow, yeah. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, oh, it's still on. Mm-hmm. That kind of, like, it's we're talking two more days. You can mm-hmm. be exactly. You can bet again in the playoffs, but if you bet baseball in September, kind of weird. Like, if it's you're different. Not- you're, you're you're basically betting around football. Like, you're exactly. gonna find spots no, no, no. like Tuesday and Wednesday. There's Maybe nothing wrong good. with that. You know yeah. what I mean? But if you're but doing it on Sunday, Monday, that's weird. yeah, Sunday. That's so weird. Like you could never yeah. show up with your buddies. Like you all go like to watch a game, right? Like like you know the place that has like every game. Direct sports ticket, I think. bar. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think they call those sports bars. But no, you show up there and you got baseball tickets in your pocket. Yeah, dude. That well, imagine looking work. at your buddy and being like, "Yo, can you put the Mets on?" Like, yeah, like no. Oh yeah, that's not gonna fly. Like, why would we put the Mets on? <laughs> Not you ball on. No, right. I, see, I, I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah. I'm glad we all agree on that. Mm-hmm. So baseball is pretty much over after. Yeah, Friday. goodbye. So, yeah. Well, let's, let's win these bets before Get that. Down tonight. Yeah. Let's let's try to win these. With that being yeah. said, Matt, you're taking a look at the Cleveland Guardians who are taking on the Padres at Petco Park. Uh, the okay. Guardians were able to secure the win yesterday, or the last time they played, three to one. Who do you got for us tonight? Yeah, everyone's gonna be mad at me for betting the Padres again. <laughs> but I'm doing. I don't care. I, I'm feeding into this at this. Is Tatis back yet? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Tatis <laughs> back. Yeah, I, I I don't know what's going on with him, but I like Blake Snell. All right, six runs over his last six starts. Uh, up until last start, he only gave up one run in his previous five. So he's he's finding his way. He's gonna raise down to three seven six. Snell, you know, he's a guy that I think a lot of people wrote off. You want to Cy Young, and then he struggled for a year there in San Diego. He was bad to start this season, but he's been really good as of late. I I don't want to say I still don't believe in Cleveland because, like, they'll probably win the Central at this point. But I don't know. Something about them still doesn't really scare me. They're just, like, a weird team. Uh, it the Cleveland Guardians. It could be. I don't know what it is. They're like the Jazz of the. Yeah, know. no, I, I know you're saying. I like that Vanilla. reference. They, like, like they, they're okay. Like, they, they might make it, but like nobody actually thinks they're, they're going to win anything. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. And San Diego is still much better. I don't know. This is what happens. People get mad at me when I do this, but it works a lot. Like, if they lose that first game, right? They're going to come back and about. You can't. You can't be biased against teams. You know, when they let us down for for a few weeks. The Padres have been let me down, but I think they're going to bounce back. Uh, today, I think Juan Soto will be. Let me check actually, because I think it's an early game. That's the other thing; they just pulled him out of the lineup like ten minutes before the game last night. I think it's a really game. game. Yeah, yeah he's probably not, tired though. That's not my fault, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, he's he's not in the lineup again today, but who cares? You know what? They're still going to win. Yeah, they're anyway. facing Cal Contrell, right? They they yeah. had a long, long time without him. Well, yeah, fine, that's so. what I mean. They, they were fine. Uh, Brandon Drury got like threw out of the game last night. Just a lot of bad things started happening. I like to the it. Yeah, so th- he's going to be fired up. He might hit a home run. And Blake Snell might throw a no hitter. And I'm only saying this because if you go on Google right now and like type in his stats, they have zero hits, but like no other stats. Like today, they already gave him no hits. So he might throw a no hitter. I'm just saying, like, it's possible. Um, so Can if you, you want to bet that, that, you probably could. I don't Does know. Have lines? The, the, I think the, you got to like bet with your boy or something. Right. Yeah, it's kind of got to be like uh, yeah, one of those bets. But yeah, I think like, plus a thousand. Exactly. Like, so hope I throw a no what hitter. What's the number for that? For like, a no what would you give a friend? What would, if I was like Matt? Give me uh, smell for no hitter. Give me plus ten thousand. I would say I would say like ten thousand. Yeah. Ten thousand. Yeah, that's such a really stupid bet. I mean, it's all yeah, it's <laughs> awful. Bet. No, I mean, it's just horrible. Like that's like, just not even make sense to bet that. But like for a dollar or something, I would do it. Yeah, I mean everything has a price, but like, what would the price be? What the price be? That's yeah. He's, but like I said, but then you look at Google and you're like, all right, he might do it. So yeah, no, then you start. Well, like a, like a half a unit on there. Yeah, like why not? Oh, yeah, right. a full unit. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, like, why not just take the half unit and set it on fire? Then so that's what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like you're saying there's no way it's gonna hit because I'm not even gonna bet a whole unit. You're not a half unit guy, John. Yeah. I, 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 I like it. Unit. Just throw the whole unit. I like half units. See what happens? It's fun because even if you lose them, you're like, like, did it really matter? Like, it's not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same thing with a unit. Does it really <laughs> matter? Like, really? You know what I'm saying? But, but I'm gonna give you a quick. I'm gonna give you a quick math lesson. Right. If you bet a whole unit, you'll win twice as much as you would 
if you only bet a half unit. That is true. That is how math works. That's math. That's now, now, do you see what I'm saying? You went twice as much. We need some education. Mm -hmm. Educational show. Well, guys, I'm going to keep mine short and simple since Slop gave us all the words of wisdom we really need today. What else do we need? Um, we need my pick. Um, but how? Okay, go ahead. Before <laughs> I ask my question, go ahead. I'm looking at the White Sox who are taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Orioles are slight underdogs in today's matchup, but I'm taking them the first five money line, minus 122. Um, easier, the easiest reason for me to say this is – they have got this on the mound, Spencer Watkins. Now, I know he's been up and down, but he's actually pretty great against the White Sox. He's known to be very good at inducing ground balls, and the White Sox have the fourth highest ground ball rate in baseball. I don't know what more you need there. He's coming off a strong outing, too. He's allowed one run over five innings in his last game. Here's what Watkins. pisses me off about him, though, oh, is that guy spells his name with an S. Yes. yes. And it always is like, buddy, like, Really? Wait, what's his name? Spencer. Spencer Watkins. It's, instead of the C, it's an S. Oh. It's like, I mean, maybe it's a family thing, so you got to let it slide. But, like, I don't know. Every time I write it, I'm just like, damn, man. It always auto-corrects. You know, you I've back. done that. Like, I, yeah, really, those man. guys are the worst. I, I've yeah, done that. Like, some guys just spell it Chris, like, K-H-I-R-S. Like, I just put, like, C-H. You know what I mean? Like, it just messes me up. Yeah, no. So it kills me every time I see his name written or I have to write it. Try writing hockey. So I stop taking them. Like I right. John, your name is Slop. Yeah. <laughs> S-L-O-P. I, like you... I don't spell it weird. I don't even like, I spell it with, like, I don't even know like how you would spell slop weird, but like I don't even know. You know what I mean? Like I spell it the way it says. Like all right, all right. That's, that's all I'm saying. Awesome. John, J-O-H-N. Like what else is like my name is M-A-T-T. Matt, M-A-T-T. Right. It would be like Matt with one T. One T. Like, what are you trying yeah. to prove? I hate guys like, like Matt, too. Yeah, but, like, what are you trying to prove? Yeah, like, like <laughs> Their on, parents man. named them, not them. Hey, team. it happens. You know, they're the ones that get – It falls they, on they, them. They all, yeah, just taking out on them. Like, what, like, what do you want us to do? Anyways, I don't know parents. <laughs> Watkins faced the White Sox the last time he did. He delivered his best season performance going five scoreless innings. So give me the Orioles in the first five money line, and we'll see what happens tonight. That's a 7 o'clock game, by the way. It's just cool. early enough that I could probably catch the first five. I haven't yeah, no, that's fine. Yep. That's fine. Yeah. You can be asleep by nine. Yeah, Mine's that's late. the dream. I'm probably going to have beers. just because, I'm, Like I said, I'm treating it like it's, it's, Friday. it's Friday night, so like it's, it's all over now. That's good. All right, guys, before we get out of here, we have one more thing to do, and that is our parlay calculator. Let's speed round this up, guys. If we were to parlay all three odds, Matt, I'll go with you. What do you think it is? I'll say plus 622. All right. John? Um, plus 500. All right. Ooh. I'm going to say plus 600. All right, guys, if you calculated all of our odds together. Ooh, ooh. We all went over, so I, I automatically win. Plus, four, plus 471 would be your odds for this parlay. Not bad. Mitch Not Keller bad. just went over his strikeout prop. It's like the third inning I was supposed to yeah, take. Logan Webber is too, John. Baseball sure. Mitch. I knew, Yeah, Logan Webb's going to go off. But I was going to put Baseball Mitch on the strikeout prop list, but I didn't. Damn, That's he's okay. got five. It happened. The other guy's doing good too. The Braves guy, Kyle Wright, I think it is. Yeah, we're, good. we're good. I'm just saying, I, I hate it when I miss on like well, one yeah, of my guys. Blame blame your daughter, right? I mean, mm -hmm. at that point. Not just blame the, children. On the list. It's not your fault. Like, ruin vacation. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up this show and we'll see you on Friday for Sharp Bets today. Don't forget, we still have our $500 Super Bowl bet giveaway. Just comment below who you think is going to win the Super Bowl. Make sure you're like things. You're liking this video and you're subscribed to Odd Checker. And we will be back September 5th to announce the winner. And that's a lot of money for a very little, what's the word I'm looking for? For very little effort. effort. So yeah, there you go. Really, I do nothing for this. <laughs> All right, guys. Happy Wednesday and happy betting.